year of 1880, Charles Darwin was an elderly scientist in the countryside of Kent, England, where he conducted his power of movement and plants experiment. I wonder what sort of grain would provide my birds with a superlative amount of vitamins. Aha! <laughs> I suspect tanner grass will be the perfect solution to the dilemma. I shall put my hypothesis into full effect through experimentation. Charles Darwin began to plant seeds and grow some cannery grass to test his hypothesis. Three days later. For what possible reason is this bloody cannery grass growing towards this blazing sun? Maybe the coleophyll of this can cannery grass is a driving force of this phototropism. Dawn proceeds to remove the tip of the cannery grass. Alas, this grass isn't growing to the sun anymore. I wonder where internal processes could have caused this. Aha, but it couldn't be any external stimulus. That wouldn't make sense. Many months later, Darwin figures out what is going on. Finally, after periods of research, I have discovered the root cause of photo phototropism in canary grass. This process is controlled by a hormone. The coleophyll is responsible for controlling plant growth and causing it to grow towards a source of light. I shall name this hormone auxin. From this point on, many scientists refer to and utilize Darwin's observations for their own experiment. Darwin, can I get an autograph?